Hey, this is John Cena, WWE Superstar and 15-time champ, and you are watching Miss WWE Fan 13. You can't see us. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be my WWE plaque collection. Now, these are going to be uh, what I'm going to be showing you are plaques from WWE Shop, but also some framed autographs that I put in a in a frame and stuff. Um, I want to just fit that all together and make a better video for you guys. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to show you guys, like I said, everything. And so, let's get this started. All right, guys. So, the first plaque I'm going to start with, it's not a WWE Shop plaque. But, you know, it's in a picture frame. So, it's my poster I made when I went to go meet John Cena for my Make-A-Wish. It says, John Cena granted my Make-A-Wish. My sister actually wrote the sign. But, so, shout out to Michelle. Thank you. And he signed it saying, it was my pleasure, John Cena. And as you can see, I put two pictures of John Cena right there on the corners. I actually made this one in my hotel room, like, a few hours before the show. But, it looks very nice signed, in my opinion. Alright, so next we're going over to my 8x10 wall, and so first we have the uh, John Cena 8x10. We have the Rise Above Hate 8x10 signed by John Cena. Alright guys, sorry my battery died. But anyways, continue on. We have when Cena won the World Heavyweight Championship, the old World Heavyweight Championship, the big, what they call the big gold belt. This one also signed. And then we have the John Cena in the neon green and black um, shirt. And then we have Bret the Hitman Hart. It says Bret Hart. Um, and then, yeah, there's that one. And then we have AJ Styles. This is the very first time I met AJ Styles when he was um, in, uh, what is it called? He was in TNA. And then we have Jim the Anvil Nightheart, which is Bret Hart's, I think, like brother-in-law or something. And then we have uh, Sarita. She used to be in TNA. I don't know if she still is. We have Mr. Anderson, a.k.a. Mr. Kennedy in WWE. And then we have Kevin Thorne. Also, just a quick uh, note to you guys. I personally got these all signed by the person. I don't buy autographs unless it's like the WWE Shop plaques. So all the Cena's I got at the Make-A-Wish. Bret Hart I got at um, a uh, convention. AJ Styles and Sarita and Mr. Anderson I got at an autograph signing for TNA. That at WrestleCon. And Kevin Thorne at some show that they had here a very long time ago in El Paso. So, just wanted to make that note. Okay, so above my door, um, I have another picture from uh, Bret Hart. It says, To Kayla, love Bret the Hitman Hart, fight on. He signed this before he had cancer. So, I thought that was pretty cool. And now, you know, um, I just thought it was cool that he actually like wrote fight on and you know he actually meant that and he gave me like a whole talk about like my cancer and how I should not give up and stuff. Bret Hart was a super cool guy like I would meet him a million more times. And then over here we have Demolition. Um, I met them at um, Alamo City Comic Con and the last one we have here is a shield uh, 8x10 only signed by Seth Rollins right now. I'm hoping to get it signed by Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose in the future. I've met Dean, I just didn't have this with me, which I regret not bringing with me, but yeah, I've not met Roman yet though. Hopefully, hopefully me and Nicole will meet him at uh, WrestleMania 34. Okay, so next we have the Ringsider, um, Ringsider uh, plaque here with mine and my brother's ticket. We sat front row um, in, tu in uh, was it Tucson, Arizona, I believe. So yeah, we, we did that. And then over here, we have the John Cena Never Give Up with his stages of being in WWE. So when he first started to basic thugonomics, you know, just John Cena pretty much plaque showing his different times in WWE. Then we got um, one of the very first uh, WrestleMania uh, plaques I got. It was WrestleMania uh, 31 in San Francisco. It was Rusev versus John Cena. So there's a picture of John Cena, I think, winning the United States Championship. And then there's the piece of the mat. And then I got number 98 of 500, which is pretty good. And then you can't see me, John Cena versus Rusev. I don't know if I said it's signed right there. Uh, we got John Cena and Rusev. You see, I thought Rusev's entrance, entrance was epic, though. That was so cool. And then all those. Then from the same WrestleMania, sorry about the glare from my window. It's pretty much the same WrestleMania, um, just the non-signed plaque. I got both. And it is number 7 of 250, which that's an awesome uh, plaque. It's Rusev very, Rusev's very first loss. So, yeah, there's that. 
And then one of the last ones I have on the wall right now, I have to put my other ones up. It was from when I went to Night of Champions. Um, this is when Seth Rollins faced John Cena and Sting on the same night. So Cena won the title back and I got number two of 199, guys. The best plaque number I have. Because I think number one, they usually do it for a WWE auction. So this is the best you could possibly get if you didn't do the auction. So there it is with the piece of the mat. Cena winning. And yeah. And I just want to make another clarification. These three plaques here and the other ones I'm going to show you except for one. Which is the Becky Lynch one. I have attended the pay-per-views. Because I only buy them unless... Um, I went there, but Becky Lynch had to make an exception because of which plaque it was. Alright, so the next plaque was, it came with the WWE 2K18 game. Uh, it's John Cena winning the title at Royal Rumble. As you guys know, I was there with my friend Brandon Hodge. And here's the ring canvas. So that's just probably my smallest plaque. So it's pretty nice, guys. Next, we have the larger version of that. Um, this is the actual one you get on WWE Shop. John Cena becomes a 16-time champion. So this is exactly like the one over there. Um, and I got number 109 of 199. It's okay number, you know. I wish I would have gotten better considering this is John Cena's plaque, but, you know, I'm just happy to actually have this in my collection because I was there to see John Cena tie Ric Flair's record. Next was also from the Royal Rumble. It was when Neville won the Cruiserweight title. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of Neville. He's in my intro when I met him. And so I got number 5 of 199. That was an awesome number, guys. I'm so happy. That was a, such a good number. And, you know, I miss Neville, so maybe he'll come back, but we'll see. And then next is also from the Royal Rumble. It was when Becky teamed up with Naomi and Nikki. I got number three of 199, guys. That's awesome. This is my second best numbered plaque. And so that's the one I have. And I have one more. I just need to go find it. I also forgot I had this Royal Rumble one. I had to go to my extra room and find it. It was when or uh, Orton won the Royal Rumble. This was my very first Royal Rumble that I attended. So, of course, I had to pick up this plaque. It was number 52 out of 199. Decent number, to be honest. So, the last actual WWE shop plaque I have. I did not attend this event. But this is when... Uh, Becky Lynch won her very first title in WWE now I know I didn't attend it and that's usually my rule I won't buy the plaques unless I attended but as you guys know Becky Lynch is one of my favorite wrestlers is my top divas no excuse me not divas top women's wrestler and I actually talked to her on Instagram she knows who I am and I had a support because she is my favorite and so I got number 68 of 199 I'm hoping to get this signed by her probably Wrestlemania if she's doing another signing maybe I'll message her and ask her if she's doing one but, um, yeah, so there it is. The last two I'm going to show you, they're not WWE Shop plaques. They're just kind of like, I framed them, but I wanted to show you guys because I didn't want to do a uh, framed autograph video or whatever. But this is a Shield poster that came in one of the magazines, and so I had Seth Rollins sign it. I'm This will be my priority to get signed by Ambrose and Reigns if I do meet them again because I want to have this framed and signed and everything complete because it's such a nice poster. This last one I do have signed by both of them. It is hard to see because they signed it in black. But it is the Cody Rhodes and Goldust when they were a tag team. Um, there's Cody Rhodes' signature. And then Goldust is right there as you can see. So I have to put these back up on my wall. Uh, I'm getting ready for the room tour. This is the last things I have to put up. So yeah guys. So yeah guys. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my whole collection of WWE plaques. There will be more to come. I want to order some, hopefully, from WrestleMania 33 soon when they're on sale online. Um, and then, of course, WrestleMania 34 plaques will be uh, here before you know it. So there's going to be more to add to the collection. But that will probably be after I do my room tour. So get me to 50,000 subscribers, guys, if you guys want to see my room. I'm very proud of this room. This has been many many years of collecting and hard work and all that other stuff so i really wanted to see you guys i want really want you guys to see it and enjoy it as much as i do so uh share my videos get people to subscribe and get me to 50,000. so yeah guys that's it make sure you give this video a thumbs up and tomorrow uh will be you guys voted and the winner of the poll is a wwe event chair collection video so you guys lucked out this week you guys are getting like two collection videos i think so yeah guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.